Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, my name is Bemi Aviola, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you my wig maintenance routine, how I care for my wigs. I'm going to be taking this dry, crusty wig and transforming it into this, perfectly styled, clean, and ready to reinstall. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. If you're not, please stop right here. It's not worth your time and effort. So this is the wig I'm going to be washing today. It is my Caramel Blonde Balayage wig from XOXO. So as you can see, my hair is really dirty. I have some lace buildup, so I'm gonna start by washing that first. The shampoos I like to use for my wigs are the Ion shampoos. I usually use the Color Defense shampoos for when I wash my jet black hair. But today I'm going to be using the Cool Blondes shampoo for the blonde balayage. So I like to start off by taking some warm water and just massaging that into the lace using my fingertips. This is going to start softening up the hairspray that I use to apply my wigs. And then I like to take some shampoo and just massage that into the lace with the palm of my hand and my fingers. This is a lot more gentler than using a toothbrush or rubbing the lace up on itself. Um, doing this method, my um, lace doesn't bald. Um, it prevents it from balding, it prevents it from shedding quickly. So that's what I like to do. So I'm just massaging the lace with my fingertips in circular motions. So now this is the first half of me actually washing my wig. I'm gonna take that cool blonde shampoo. I'm filling up the sink with warm water. I'm gonna put the shampoo in the warm water and just Switch it around so it just dissolves into the water. I'm gonna take a little bit more and just add it because um, I'm using more water, of course, and just swish that around. So now I am just dipping and swishing the wig around in the water. This is kind of like the first half toning step-ish. Um, since this is like a caramel blonde, beige blonde, um, this is just gonna help like make sure all the blonde um highlights and the ends um they're just toned nicely and they go back to being that like honey blonde beige blonde color so i'm just dipping and swishing and also i'm running my fingers through it and finger detangling as well so now i'm just unplugging the sink letting it drain and now I'm actually going to start like washing, washing. So I'm just going back in with the shampoo and I'm applying it directly to the hair. And I'm just going to start massaging that into the hair. Um, I'm not scrubbing the hair really. I'm just kind of like scrubbing it at the root um, where the cap is, just making sure any product stuck up in there um, is breaking apart and dissolving um, from the shampoo, checking for any tangles and such, and detangling again. So now I'm just rinsing the hair. So as you can see, I'm finger detangling and then squeezing that shampoo out. I'm also checking my lace to make sure there's no um, residue left from the hairspray that I used to adhere my lace. So I'm just running under the water, finger detangling it out, and then I'm just squeezing that water out till um, there's no shampoo bubbles and the water runs clear. And now we have an interruption from mom. <laughs> she startled me. She needed to ask me something, but yeah, she says hi. Um, we actually have planned content coming soon, so stay tuned. 
So now I'm going to condition. I like using the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco conditioner, my favorite conditioner. This is what makes my um, wig smell really good. Um, what I like to use when washing. <laughs> Oops. Uh, commission wigs as well. This is just my favorite conditioner for my wigs. Um, it doesn't leave a residue. Um, my hair doesn't get all clumpy and sticky like some conditioners do. Um, it doesn't leave a buildup or residue, so really, really like it. So I'm just massaging that into the hair. I like to use a lot of conditioner, especially since this is very, very long lengths. I'm just massaging that into the hair, finger detangling it as well. Um, this hair usually doesn't really tangle up. It actually doesn't tangle up. Um, it's pretty good, and it relaxes very easily. So yeah, um, and all in all, I don't really have any problems with this hair. So now I'm just gonna let that sit for 15 minutes and then come back and rinse. So before I rinse, I like to take my big black detangling comb and run it through and like actually officially detangle my hair properly. Um, I'm not using a lot of force. I like to be very, very light-handed and gentle with my wigs. Wigs are investments, you guys, so you want to take the utmost care with them, especially if you're going to be wearing them every day. So I'm being very, very gentle when combing. Um, finger detangling really helped earlier, like doing it after shampoo, after rinsing, um, and then after conditioning as well. And I will do it after again after I rinse this conditioner out. So I'm doing the same thing again after I rinsed the shampoo out. So I'm just uh, running the wig under the water and then finger detangling and squeezing that conditioner out until the water runs clear. Um, you just want to make sure you're also getting in between tracks so that there's no conditioner just sitting there if it just sits there and you don't rinse it out well you're going to have like sticky patches in your wig so you want to make sure to really rinse your wig out well so as you can see i'm just checking the lace to make sure there's no residue on it left it looks good, it's clean, so now that I have clean lace, when I install it, it's going to look really, 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 really nice. Um, and yeah, so yeah, so now I'm just going to take my comb, rinse it off, and I'm going to detangle it one last time before I towel dry. So I'm just going to just run that big black comb through very, very gently just to make sure there are no knots hidden anywhere. So now I'm just going to wrap the hair up in a clean towel and take it back upstairs so I can style it. So okay, I'm back upstairs. This is the wig wet, so I'm going to style it. So what you will need is a blow dryer of your choice. This is the Revlon Paddle Dryer. Love using it for my natural hair to blow my hair out. A rat tail comb. You're going to need a wax stick. You're going to need alligator clips to help pin your hair up for when you're styling you're gonna need your heat protectant you're going to need a serum of some sort i like using the argan oil um serum by ogx you're going to need your hot comb this is one i think is from andis i got it on amazon and then um you're going to need your styling tool. Um, if you want more voluminous curls, more fluffy curls, you want to use a curling wand. If you want more sleeker bombshell curls, I recommend using a curling iron. Today, I will be using my Hot Tools curling iron, um, but I will be using the one and one fourth inch size, which is this one. 
So now I'm just blow drying the hair beforehand. I did apply the um, Argan Oil Serum to the hair. Um, I like it because as I blow dry, it prevents frizz. It prevents the wig from frizzing up. Also, this Revlon blow dryer is a lifesaver. My hair gets blown out really quickly compared to a traditional blow dryer with a pick. So now I'm just styling the hair. Um, I am doing pin curls um, and I'm using my one and one fourth hot tools curling iron. So I'm just curling the hair and doing pin curls. Um, I typically like doing pin curls for a day to day basis when I style my hair. I only really style my hair every time I wash. I don't touch up my curls. Um, my curls usually last three weeks with this method so yeah i'm just curling them and then just pinning up the hair i also pinned up my hair using um the alligator clip to clip the sections that i'm not working on out of the way so as you can see i'm just curling and i'm flipping and rotating the curling iron so the heat gets on both sides of that section of hair so i'm just going to keep curling and come back to when i'm at the top at the frontal so you guys can see how i do the frontal okay so i'm going to show you how i do the frontal now so i'm applying the wax sticks to the root of the frontal as well as the hairline and I'm using my hot comb to press it in. Um, this will help get that very sleek flat laid look so I'm just hot combing that through and then now I'm taking my curling iron and actually styling that section and pinning it up. Um, and I'm going to do this all the way up through the top of the frontal, of course. Um, like I said, this is how you get that very sleek look when it comes to the frontal. Alright guys, so while I'm working on the other side, let me give you the specs on this hair. So this is the Caramel Blonde Balayage that I made about a year and a half ago, like I said. Um, the specs on this hair are 328 inch bundles, 126 bundle, 124 bundle, and a 20 inch HD frontal. The hair is from XOXO Virgin Hair. This is their raw Vietnamese straight hair uh, if you're interested in seeing how i got the color i will link the hair in the info card the i card um above if you want to check that out i do also have a code with xoxo if you want to make a purchase and that code is gxoxo i will leave that on the screen as well as in the description bar down below So now I am just going to spray my hair. This is the Bedhead Extra Extra Hold Hairspray and me listening to this Nicki Minaj mega mix. So I am just spraying the crap out of my hair um, so that it stays in place. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to leave it overnight and come back the next morning. So it is the next morning, um, which is actually today, Monday, as I'm editing this. Uh, I'm just taking the pin curls down. I took down the bottom half, so I'm just showing you guys the top half. I'm just pulling out the pins, making sure I didn't miss any. And then, yeah, so I'm just pulling them out. And then I'm going to comb them through after I finish with the big black detangling comb that I used earlier.
So now I am just combing the wig out, just uh, combing it out, uh, making sure that the curls are all moving the same way. If they're not, I'm just re-sculpting them back into place. Um, making sure also that I didn't forget any pins as well. So now that I have completely combed the wig out, I'm using the Tresemme uh, hairspray. This is the extra hold hairspray, but it doesn't really hold that well. I like it, to use it more as a finishing spray. So I am just spraying that all over my hair just to make sure there are no flyaways, to tame them down if there are any, to control frizz a bit. So yeah, I'm just giving that a good douse. And then afterward, I'm just brushing the hair through, also just kind of making the hair like go the way I want it, sculpting it. I did uh, spray some hairspray in the brush also to help kind of like set the curls in place as I brushed as well. Being super gentle, of course. I don't like to rip through my wigs when I'm brushing, just very gentle. All right guys, so this is what the hair looks like after I've finished. As you can see, it looks great. It's ready to be laid and worn out. Um, just remember you guys, wigs are investments. You wanna take care of them as much as possible, especially since you will be wearing them every day. Because I do take care of my wigs, I actually have not had a wig in a, almost a year and a half, and I've been fine, especially with this shortage going on with lace and everything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on my social media, Instagram and Twitter are at BemZabiola. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.